What's ahead of us? I'm not sure. But this one thing I'm confident of on a Monday morning, my Heavenly Father sure is. Good Monday morning. I've really um, wrestled with the Lord on whether to share this or not, and I feel like I should. I don't really know that the intent was to share it the Monday before the outcome of our presidential election here in America, but for whatever reason, this is the time that I'm sharing it. Back at the first of the year, before we were hit with COVID and after the earthquake dreams that I shared with you a few months back, I had another dream that I believe was from the Lord. And in that dream, I was in the hull of a very large cargo ship. And in front of me, the whole entire window um, system was boarded up so I could see nothing out in front of me but I could see out of the sides where the windows were but there were three people with me in the hull of that ship two men and a woman and they were helping me navigate and they told me that there was a storm over on the horizon and I looked over and I could see the storm outside the side window and they told me to turn and what I remember was that the boat turned on a dime and I was stunned as I moved the wheel of that ship at the ease with which it turned. The next thing I knew, we were uh, going to dock against a really large pier and it looked like our boat was going to hit the dock. And one of the men in the hull of the ship reached out his arm and stopped the ship from wrecking into the dock that we were going to port at. Then the next thing I know, me and this man were walking through this port city and it was active and alive with people and shopping. And I looked up and he was to the left of me. And when I looked up behind him, it was the largest tsunami wave that I've ever seen. And I knew that tsunami wave was going to hit us. I wasn't afraid, but I knew but he was between me and the wave. The next thing I knew, I was going under at the pressure of the wave and I had my eyes closed. And when I got to a, a place that was still after the initial force, I had this thought in me that I was going to suffocate. And then I felt in the deep recesses of my spirit, the word, see if you can breathe. And I began to breathe and I realized that I could breathe underwater. And then I heard what I believe was the Spirit of the Lord say, open your eyes. And I remember shaking my head like this, like, I don't wanna open my eyes. And I heard it again, open your eyes. And when I opened my eyes, I saw these black, almost looked like salamanders in the water and they were everywhere and they were just moving just everywhere. And I knew they were demonic forces. And I looked up and I saw this beautiful light at the top of the water and I knew that was the Lord. And when I looked back down, all of a sudden the demonic forces started swarming at me. And immediately I started praying and I was praying in the Holy Spirit. And with each prayer, I would move my arm like this. And as I moved my arm, it was like a force. I don't know if I'm sure all of you have seen Frozen. If you haven't now, you live under a rock somewhere. But it was like when Elsa was singing, let it go and her arms would go out and this, this ice would just form. It was just like that. It was like this force that came out and every time I would pray and move my arms, those demonic forces fled. Then the next thing I remember, I was back in the hull of that ship and it was like, revival. It was packed with people. We were singing and worshiping. 
in such expressive exuberance. And we were singing Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Giver, Light in the Darkness, My God, that is who you are. I've done much praying into that dream over the last six months. And I don't know what life is going to hold after this selection tomorrow, whether we'll know the results or we won't know the results. But I believe what God was showing me, I believe that it was the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the hull of that ship helping me navigate. So I want you to know that um, the presence of the Lord is still mighty and strong and working in our lives and in our stories and on this earth. I know that it was Jesus between me and that tsunami wave. I know that um, whatever the tsunamis may look like, be they um, COVID or the racial um, division that we've seen and the injustices that we've seen and the rioting that we've seen, or what else may come after the election, whatever a tsunami may be, this is what I know. There are great demonic forces at work, but Jesus and the Holy Spirit's power is greater than any scheme or plan or position of the enemy. The prophet Zechariah said this, in Zechariah chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, he said, Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. It's not by might, nor is it by power, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forward the top stone amid shouts of grace, grace to it. And what I know is that the power of God, it wasn't by my might, it wasn't by my power, but it was by the power of the living God that, that was able to penetrate every demonic force of the enemy. And do you know what else? I could still breathe in the middle of a tsunami. Now we've had a lot of tsunamis and fear has taken people's breath away. Even the very words, I'm thinking of this right now, the very words of George Floyd were, I can't breathe. Isn't that something? And it's like fear has just snuffed out our, our voices in this moment. And, and fear has been so repressive that we felt like we can't breathe. Even the coronavirus has taken away people's ability to breathe. Can you see the demonic forces at work? But what did Jesus say? What did he speak to my spirit? You can breathe here. Friends, be of good courage. Jesus has already overcome the world. The enemy doesn't get the last word. God's love gets the last word. And the last thing in that dream was this. It was a mighty move of the living God. I've heard people debate greatly in this season whether we would see one more great revival before the return of the Lord. I don't know. My prayer is that we will. That is my prayer. But whether we see a great revival here or whether that was rejoicing found only in heaven, this I do know, that no matter what comes our way, the Spirit of the living God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. So what is our responsibility here? To be full of the Spirit of God. To wake up every day and ask God to give us everything He has in His Spirit and to fill us afresh and anew. Be of good courage. Jesus. Your Jesus has already overcome the world. 
and there is no weapon formed against you bigger than the God that is for you. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.